Hey, do you have trouble saving money? If you do, you should watch this video. Hi, if you're new here, my name is Wendy, AKA the Thrifty Sewist, and I'm about to have some fun saving money. I know a lot of you are returning. I know a lot of you know who I am and what this video is about, but just in case you're new, first of all, thank you for being here and clicking on the video. But watch this to see how to have fun, how to make saving money a little bit more motivating for yourself. Um, if you're brand new to cash stuffing and savings challenges and all the things, maybe you don't really get the whole concept. Yeah, just watch, just stay tuned, grab a drink and a snack and just watch all this goodness because <laughs> trust me, um, this method is magical. It's, it may seem silly, you know, maybe you're watching and you've never tried it and you're thinking, how could that possibly work? Just give it a try because I promise it does. Okay. So that's my spiel. <laughs> All right. So we have, uh, let's see, $48 from my paycheck budget to stuff into savings challenges. And then we also have this rollover, which was like, I don't know, 150 or so. So let's put it all together and count and see how much we have total. All right, so we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 80, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 90, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 201, I think that was, 201. Now, prior to cash stuffing, I would have, all that rollover money would have been spent. I would have never been able to save that money. Now, it's a mindset shift. So now I'm like, okay, don't spend money. I want to be able to stuff it into challenges and play games. So it's just little, you know, changes in your lifestyle that you make. And it wasn't even a conscious change. I'm like, okay, this is my spending money. I am free to spend it all, every dollar if I want to. But I don't because I want to save it for challenges. Uh, the $48 that I said that I saved from my budget to put towards challenges, again, that would have been spent. And that would have been spent on things that I don't even know, like probably fast food and whatever, like just things that I wouldn't even see. So um, budgeting has also really helped me. I do a zero-based budget and I spend every dollar before I get it. That way, every dollar has a place. And when I say spend every dollar, I don't mean just buy, you know, go shopping. <laughs> I mean... I give every dollar a place, whether it's savings challenges, sinking funds, whatever. So that has also really helped me to cut down on like the random like impulse spending. So yeah, just try it. Okay, that made my binder yucky. All right, before we get into the main stuff, I want to do Christmas because I need $100 to meet my Christmas goal. And yeah, I really want to meet it. <laughs> so, um, but now I'm thinking maybe not. All right. Yeah, let's just do it. I was thinking maybe with my YouTube check, I could put some, which I still can. Um, but don't let me skimp out on Christmas here. All right, so I think I'm just gonna do 10 and we ha only have fives and tens left on this. So yay! Um, it is going to be time now to start buying stuff for Christmas. I, $10 going in. I, uh, you know, I was at Walmart last night and I was just looking, I almost bought a couple little small things, like nothing that I would have taken money out of here for, just little, stocking stuffers, but I didn't. All right, so in Christmas, we have 5, 700, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 800, 850, 
60, 70, 80, 90, 910. 910 dollars. And let me color in a 10. And you guys, we finished another row. Yes. This is what I like to see, baby. I love this tracker because it's just fives, tens, fifteens, and twenties, and it's easy to color in, easy to see. But next year I'm switching things up and I'm gonna do an entire Christmas binder, which if you've been following me, you've already seen that. I'm taking a page out of Busy Lizzie's playbook there with that one. All right. So that's Christmas, Black Friday. I wanna put some in here as well. I spent almost all of this on a new vacuum, which you guys, I have to say, let's see, do I wanna do 10 or 20? I think I'm gonna do 20, I'm gonna go big. Um, I got the Shark Stratos cordless. And it's just okay. Like, I do like it. I don't want to return it or anything like that. But the regular price for that is $500. And I'm so glad I didn't pay $500. I paid $300 on Prime Day. It was on sale. And I'm still like, oh, I paid $300 for this. I mean, it's a good vacuum. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> All right. So 20 going in. So we have 20, 40, 60, 70, 80. So 80 bucks in here, which is good. Uh, I don't have any specific things I'm trying to buy on Black Friday, but I do want to have money because I know I'm going to go shopping. Um, so, yeah. All right. So, that's that. Let's get this one out. Now, I finally took out, I believe, the, yeah, the finished challenges and envelopes. So, it's a little bit thinner. So, First up, we have savings. Saving is magical. I always say savings. <laughs> um, these are three mini challenges in my shop available as a digital download. I'm doing the blank one first. Just rolling a die. Just once. Super slowly. So we got a five. Um, and I'm using this to save for family photos. We don't have any plans for family photos, but I want to have some money towards it for, you know, if we make plans. So we have 20, 30, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 49. I almost booked some photos. They had like Christmas mini sessions at a local studio and then I realized that that was just the price for renting out the studio and you still need it to get your own photographer so yeah not happening all right next we have our coffee savings challenge this was gifted to me from Janelle over at Janelle Ray Budgets, and this is another one I'm doing super duper slowly, just one scratch at a time. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So I scratched off 12, so I've been doing this 12 weeks already. There may have been once or twice where I did two of them, but wow, I've been doing this for quite a while already, and I have still an entire back. So <laughs> this is going to be one to stick with me for a while. All right, so $1. So I am going to go again. Wow, $1 again. Should I press my luck? Ooh, three. Okay. So nice. We got three of them done this time. So that's five. And the coffee addiction is real with me, you guys. I've been spending so much money at Dunkin', and I know I shouldn't, but I just love it so much. So I want to ask, like, my entire family <laughs> for Dunkin' gift cards for Christmas. I don't need anything. Just give me Dunkin'. <laughs> All right. 10, 15, 25, 35, 36, 7, 8, 9, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 44. I did take 20 or 30 out of this already because the side is 100. So 44 bucks. For coffee. 
coffee. Nice. That'll get me approximately three coffees. <laughs> I like cappuccinos and they are literally almost five dollars each time so I'm bougie what can I say all right back to school so this is just for anything my son may happen to need for back to school or school related or you know extracurricular activity related or whatever all right let's just go here two bucks you know what, that's all I'm gonna do because he doesn't really need anything right now, so. I'm good with the two. So, $2 going in. We have 50, 65, 75, 80. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 90, one, two. 92, I did take money out of this for the school of pictures. I think like around $45. Um, really, I sh guess I should have like a school sinking fund, but I don't. This is where I pull from, so. I never really know how much is in there. All right. These boys. So these are both from Wren over at Mischief Managed Budgets. I already finished a few of these. Um, and I want to finish all of these by the end of October. And this is the last paycheck um, you know, of October. However, I do have a YouTube check that I should be getting actually like this week mm, within a few days. And then I also have, well, potentially may have some Etsy money. Of course, that's never guaranteed, but I may have, uh, you know, some Etsy money I could do this with too. So maybe we'll just do one on here or so. Um, and then I'm going to try to do a lot with my YouTube check. So six. So I'm good with that. That's all I'm going to do. Because you all know what I'm saving my money for, right? The big boys. All right, six dollars. So five and six going in. And let's see what we got. This money, you know, I'm still undecided what I want to do with it. I have my goal of getting my personal loan under 10K by the end of the year. I'm at just over 13,000 right now. So, you know, obviously I only have two more months. Now I do pay about 700 a month. So that's 1400. So, you know, it's definitely possible. I just, I don't know. So anyway, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 170. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eighty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ninety. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One ninety-seven. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I should put this towards debt or towards my goal of the insurance, which I'll talk about in a couple minutes here when I get to that point. All right, what do we got here? So this is, okay, so these are minis from Janelle over at Janelle Ray Budgets. It's a three pack, I finished one already. I'm using these to save money towards groceries. I forgot my whole thing of markers. I got this handy dandy thing off of Amazon on Prime Day. Um, but I have to move it off my desk because my daughter. <laughs> so, yeah, she gets into them and it's not pretty when she does. So, five. I want to do ten. Let's do ten. Hopefully this marker thing is not now blocking your view. Let me see. Okay, good. All right, so five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're really getting down there on the money, you guys. All right, so five, ten, fifteen, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So thirty bucks in here. Birthdays, um, 
feel like I want to skip this one today. So this is from Lisa Grateful Me. I think I'm going to skip this one today. Oh, the pet challenge. I've been skipping that a lot, and I shouldn't skip it, but I kind of want to. <laughs> um, yep. Sorry. I mean, I could put a few dollars in there. Let me see if I can move this off to the side. Okay. All right. Next in here, we have this scratch off from Liz over at Busy Lizzie's Budget. The delicious donuts scratch off. It is so pretty. I love the colors. I love the quality. Um, and let's just scratch off one of these. Let's see, let's go here. Hopefully this will be a lower number. A six, okay. I can handle that, that's all I'm gonna do. It's a $75 challenge when you're done. So we're gonna put $6 in. Let's see what I have in here. One, two. One, two, three, and four. All right, I'm gonna take out $4 and put in a 10. So we have 20, 30, five, six, seven, eight, $38. And like I said, it's 75 when done, so. All right, let's see, skip this for now. Ferris wheel fun, this is from Saving with Shalanda. Let's see, let's go next to a seven here. Okay, so we got a five and an eight. Ooh, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 bucks, okay. Well, you know what? I gotta round it off and make it a 20. I could make it 15. I, but I'm going to make it a 20 because, you know, like I said, I need money for vacation. So, $13. And then I'm using the bonuses over here to, you know, round them up. So, I think 13 plus 7 is 20, right? So, 20 bucks. 20 bucks going in towards vacation. So we have 20, 30, 40, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 55. Okay, is that it? Oh, I have a big IOU. All right, I think that's it. I have an IOU of 14 bucks. So let me pay that and then we will get to scratching. So 20, um, I owe myself six then and I'm not going to have six in here. I don't think. Let me see. Oh, I do. Okay. Nice. So six going out, 20 going in, right? Six plus 14 is 20. Yes, I did just do that on a calculator in case you're wondering. <laughs> All right, let's see what we can get done here. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 86, 7, 8, 9, 90, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 100, 1, 2, 3, 103. Okay, nice. 103 left over. So we're gonna put that on the calculator and go to town. Okay, let me move the cash tray. So this is my 1K challenge. It is available in my shop. I say this every video. It comes in a five or a six. You get five envelopes. Each envelope is $200 each, um, but each envelope also has bonuses on the back. So it is a little more than 200 when you get done. So I'm working on this third envelope. Um, I plan on using this money towards my goal of $1,700 to pay for an entire year of car insurance. 
Um, and this will be a little over a thousand. So it'll get me, you know, obviously way more than halfway there. That is my plan right now. Now I was thinking, so that's a $5. So I have 103 on the calculator. So I'm just going to scratch and then subtract each time. Hold on. 103 minus five. So I was thinking the other day, I'm like, do I really, really care about paying for a year's worth of insurance at a time? I mean, I could just pay my monthly bill and it's fine. $15. Because this $1,000 would be a great payment towards debt, right? I don't know, you guys. Like, it is definitely something I want to do. But... That's a five. I don't know. Like, I'm torn now. I'm kind of, like, changing my mind, maybe. I don't know. Because it will free up $130 a month for me to then put towards something else. But it's the same thing whether I do $130 extra towards savings, like, instead of paying the bill, or I pay the bill and put this money that I'm saving now towards savings or debt. You know what I mean? So it kind of doesn't really matter either way. That's a 20. So we're down to $58. And so for that reason, I'm torn. I mean, I don't need like the extra 130 a month to you know, like pay bills or anything. My bills are paid. I don't, I don't know, you guys. I don't know. I don't know. All right. But the main thing is we finished that envelope. <laughs> Yay. So 58, I don't know if we're going to be able to finish all three bonuses with $58, but we're sure going to try. So we got a five. So yeah, I mean, I do have some time to decide, but I'm just torn right now on what I want to do because all of my money, my extra money, you know, most of it anyway, besides like sinking funds, has been going towards debt. And I love that. I want to get my debt paid off so bad. That's a 10. Um, and I, like I said, I have that big goal of having my loan under $10,000 by the end of the year. That's a 20. So we're down to $23, but we finished this entire envelope. Yes. So we only have two envelopes to go on this, you guys. Woo! Um, so yeah, I don't know. I just, uh, I'm really torn. So we have $23 left. So I'm going to take 23 out because the rest goes in this envelope. And it should be 235 now in here. So let's see. 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 80, 2, 10, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 235, nice! So we have 235 plus 2, 30 plus 2, 45. So that's how much we have so far. <laughs> All right. We have $23 left. Let's scratch. I could end up with an IOU. It's very likely, but that's okay. So yeah, I don't know. I know a lot of you said do debt, don't do insurance, but I just don't know. The good news is I do have time to decide, you know, until I'm done. All right. Eight bucks. There is not an eight on here. <laughs> These are higher numbers, obviously, because the envelope is 200, but I'm going to scratch anyway and have an IOU. Ooh, ouchie. That's a 20. Okay. So we have an IOU of $12. Let me wipe this off. So let me know what you think below, okay? Should I do the intro? I know a lot of you are just gonna say debt, which is probably the smart thing. But think about it, if I do have an extra $130 a month, you know, 
that will allow me to get my sinking funds up a little more and put more towards challenges, which will allow me to have more in savings for, you know, when I need it. So, you know, remember that. <laughs> And let me know below what you think I should do and give me reasons. I want to know reasons why you think I should do one or the other. Okay, so 20, 1, 2, 3. So 23 in here for now, and we do 012. So yeah, we have a start on our fourth envelope here. Yes. Let's do this dolphin. I got these shaped paper clips from Timu. Okay, that's it, my friends. Thank you so much for coming along with me. I hope this video was not too crazy long. This binder is thick. All right, anyway. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here, for subscribing, watching my ads so I do get a little bit of a paycheck, for all of your support on Etsy and just all of your support with being here. And I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one.